Plus, our big story tonight, the aftermath of a mass shooting in Pittsburgh. 11 people dead, one suspect facing close to 30 charges. Right now, police are searching for surveillance video to try and learn from this tragedy and see how that alleged killer went about this assault. The crime scene is described as large and complex and the devastation some of the worst FBI agents have ever seen. Officials believe it will take weeks to process all the evidence. President Trump saying he's preparing to go to Pittsburgh and that the pain he feels is different now that he is president. Seeing this makes the level of pain, quote, incredible. And today we learn the names of the 11 victims. Bernice and Sylvan Simon were husband and wife. Both in their 80s were called the sweetest people you could imagine. The Rosenthal brothers were inseparable and were part of a local center for the disabled. 66 year old Jeremy Rabinowitz was a doctor with fondness for bow ties. Melvin Wax was a recent widower who helped conduct service and Joyce Feinberg recently lost her husband and spent every morning at Tree of Life Synagogue. The effect of this tragedy being felt across the country, including right here in the Bay Area. Today, people gathering to remember those who lost their lives. Maricela Burgos is live at the Temple Emanuel in Lakeland, where they're having a service of remembrance. Maricela. They are in that service just started and I spoke to the rabbi and he told me I may not have known the 11 people that were killed, but they are like family to me behind me. You can see that service just started. There are Lakeland police officers here. The Polk County Sheriff's Office is here. There are members of this congregation as well as members of this community. I spoke to a woman who actually attends a Methodist church here in Polk County. She learned about this ceremony during services at her church earlier, and she said, I had to be here. I had to show unity, and that's the message that the rabbi wanted to relay tonight, that we need to be united, that we cannot be divided in this country. So she is here tonight because she felt compelled to be here, and she said it touched her, and she just wanted to be among other people. So that service, that ceremony started tonight. We will have more on this tonight at 11. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News. And the Jewish community here in Tampa mourning the loss more than a thousand miles away. They're looking for ways to honor the victims while also sending a message to those with hate in their heart. ABC Action News reporter JJ Burton with a Jewish leader on what he would like for them to know. About 46 year old Robert Bowers opened fire inside Pittsburgh's Tree of Life Synagogue during Sabbath. Rabbi Michael Torop was leading his own service here at the Temple Bethel in St. Petersburg. Shock and horror is what he felt when the alert started. The sanctity of a holy day and a holy place and a, uh, holy words were interrupted by such an un unholy act. 11 people killed, some of them elderly, all in the line of fire. It's a tragedy that our uh, country has come uh, to the point where such acts of violence occur. To ease some fears, officers were stationed at every St. Petersburg synagogue today. But um, we cannot give in to uh, the fear that those who attack uh, Jews or others um, want us to feel. President Donald Trump says Bowers would have been stopped if there were armed guards inside the Pittsburgh synagogue. Rabbi Torah disagrees. I think that it uh, was an unfortunate comment that is really a bit of blaming the victims. In St. Petersburg, J.J. Burton, ABC Action News.